I'm uh, Gene Hugeson, Commissioner of Minnesota Department of Agriculture. I'd like to welcome you all here today to uh, uh, another historic milestone in Minnesota's renewable fuels uh, history. Certainly today as we uh, launch a, a new uh, venture in the sense that we're going now from B2 to B5 in our diesel fuel, biodiesel at a higher blend level, it is indeed uh, an important uh, milestone and, and step in where we have been and to where we're going. As you, many of you know, this is uh, part of the incremental uh, increase in, in uh, terms of uh, ultimately being at uh, B20. But uh, first things first, and we're just excited that we're here at the, at the B5 level. So certainly today we want to thank uh, the Holiday Station stores for their hospitality and allowing us to uh, uh, kick off this venture at this uh, nice facility. And uh, hopefully we won't disrupt uh, them too much, but uh, maybe stop in and buy a donut on your way out, if you will, and uh, help them out uh, in a, a little bit. We've got a lot of supporters here with us today of folks that have been part of this journey and in moving into this direction. Certainly Minnesota Soybean Growers Association and the Promotion Council have been instrumental in this uh, all the way along. The farm organizations like Farmers Union, Farm Bureau, uh, Minnesota Corn Growers here as well, and of course our, our close partner that in working with this uh, operation, uh, the Minnesota Lung Association. We've also had a very uh, important and uh, valuable partner in the Minnesota Trucking Association that's been part of this effort as well too. So we appreciate all those folks being here today to lend support to this important uh, endeavor. We're going to be having a number of folks that uh, will be participating uh, in this uh, occasion and uh, I, when I'm finished with a few other remarks, uh, we will hear from uh, Jim Pearson, the Deputy Commissioner of Minnesota Department of Commerce. And certainly, as you know, commerce has a very uh, important role and uh, in, in the sense of uh, regulating the fuel uh, mixture as well as quality in, in Minnesota. And so they're a great partner in this endeavor as well. After uh, uh, Jim uh, speaks, uh, we were counting on some legislators pop possibly being here. But uh, with conference committees and all that going on, I don't think we're going to have anyone. But uh, certainly, we had invited uh, Representative Al Junkie and Senator Jim Vickerman uh, two uh, uh, key players in this whole operation as well, but uh, I know they're tied up with conference committee right now as we speak. Uh, John Hauslauden uh, from the Minnesota Trucking Association will uh, uh, follow Jim Pearson, and then after uh, uh, John will be Kelly Marzak from the uh, American Lung Association. When we look at uh, where Minnesota has gone with renewable fuels in, in our promotion of this uh, in endeavor, we do it for a number of reasons. Certainly it's important to the rural economy and, and for those of us that are involved with agriculture we know how important this is. But our goals are beyond that because we look at what it does to our state's environment and as, as it relates to particularly the urban area, the ability to uh, add uh, less uh, particulates to the uh, air is certainly important and so we're very pleased that we can be part of a, a cleaner environment uh, as well. But beyond that, we also know that for not only the state but for a national energy policy, it is extremely important that we move to uh, less dependence on imported foreign oil. And certainly what we've done with uh, biodiesel and also ethanol has been very important as we move in that whole direction. We realize uh, as we've gone through this last year and saw how pr uh, prices in fact uh, could be so uh, uh, volatile and knowing that uh, they create such a, a devastation on the economy, it's a good reminder as to why we need to be having an aggressive uh, renewable fuel policy that continues beyond just uh, uh, 2009 but moves on into the future as well. So at this time I'd like to ask uh, Jim to come up and make a few comments followed by the other speakers and then after that we will uh, uh, adjourn to the pump behind uh, for uh, some photo opportunities uh, with uh, actually doing some uh, filling with B5 into the vehicles and then certainly offer opportunities for those of you that are here that would like to uh, have some uh, uh, photo opportunities to take part in that as well too. So if we could, uh, our part important partner from the Department of Commerce, uh, Jim Pearson, please. Well, thank you to Commissioner Hugeson for inviting us here. And um, of course, on behalf of Commissioner Wilson, I am pleased to share the podium this morning to mark this uh, important milestone uh, moving to B5 as of today. Um, it again highlights the fact that Minnesota is a national leader in uh, renewables and in the biofuel area. Uh, we as a state have worked hard to promote these areas and today is a great uh, time to, again to get together and recognize the work that's been done. Specifically to our department, we work uh, to achieve uh, promotion of biofuels and renewables through uh, both our Office of Energy Security and specifically our Weights and Measures area. 
and uh, Waste and Measures is an area of our department that not everyone is always familiar with, but they're really vital to, to this role. Um, they're vital in a couple of different ways. One, ensuring that pump accuracy is there. Uh, two, looking to uh, ensure that the biofuel mandates that, that are uh, passed in Minnesota are complied with. Uh, and three, of course, is the quality of the fuels that, that, that uh, our consumers are buying. And that's really a key point in building uh, confidence. We do this through uh, a laboratory in our facility down in Burnsville. We've got a world-class petroleum lab down there. Uh, we've got field staff out uh, checking uh, and taking samples, sending it back to the lab, and again, ensuring that the fuel that people buy uh, is consistent with uh, specifications. So again, that's really an important part of what we do as a department to build public confidence and uh, promote the biofuels area. I'd uh, like to just take a, a quick minute to recognize Mark Bocelli. Mark is our director of our Weights and Measures area. Uh, he's here with a couple of key members of staff today. Uh, they've um, also brought some field equipment. One piece of equipment they brought today uh, helps, um, helps our staff verify uh, biodiesel content and fuel. Uh, they've got it here today, and uh, after uh, we've had a chance to um, uh, share some remarks and, uh, and, and uh, maybe dispense some, some biodiesel uh, this morning, they, they can do a little demonstration for those, uh, for those of you who are interested. So with those comments, I'd uh, again like to thank folks for having the Commerce Department uh, included in this morning, and uh, I'll turn it over to, to John. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioner. Thank you for the invitation to participate. And it is exciting to be here today with our partners, and I do want to stress that point that we're here today because this has been a process of partnership where organizations and entities have had to work together to find solutions and move forward with an exciting alternative fuel. So the Minnesota Trucking Association is, is happy to be a partner in this process and to continue along with that. And it's important because when you think about it, with nearly seven out of 10 Minnesota communities dependent on truck transportation exclusively for everything that moves in and out of those communities, one thing's clear, Minnesota runs on trucks. And trucks have to have a quality, consistent fuel to keep them running. Now, I'm happy to say that due to the diligent work of the biodiesel manufacturers and distributors in this state, the Minnesota Trucking Association is confident that we will have no operational problems as we move to the B-5 mandate today. And we also think in the long run, what's probably best for the economy in this state and the nation is to adopt a single national diesel fuel standard that is consistent and predictable and we believe that biodiesel can be an important component in making that a reality. Thank you. The American Lung Association of Minnesota appreciates the opportunity to be a part of the celebration of one more step toward energy independence and a healthier environment for all Minnesotans. While diesel and diesel powered vehicles are getting cleaner, they are still a significant source of emissions that are harmful to lung health and have been linked in, in various studies to lung cancer, asthma attacks, and other respiratory illnesses. By moving from B2 to B5, Minnesota has taken the next step in a steady progression toward cleaner burning fuels and more renewable fuels. Or as we like to say, we are making a clean air choice. This action will prevent 139 tons of particulate pollution and 330,000 tons of life cycle carbon dioxide emissions from entering our air each year. That's the equivalent of taking more than 55,000 cars off the road or the carbon sequestration of 66,000 acres of pine forest. These are important benefits for our environment and for our lung health. On behalf of the American Lung Association in Minnesota, we offer our thanks to everyone who made today possible, fighting for our air today and for tomorrow. Thank you.